has left me with a sign. Good morning, Wolves. I'm Cade. And I'm Mandy. And today is Monday, March 13th, National Ken Day. That's right, Ken gets a day, America. Which means there are only four days left until St. Patrick's Day. And, there's all, and it's also the end of the quarter. So uh, for those who get a 3.5 or better, you get a pass to IROC, iFly, or Flowrider. Here's Colby for more. What up, Pack TV? I'm down here at uh, IROC doing rock climbing, you know what I mean? Climbing Mount Everest, because I'll, I'll be the first guy to climb Mount Everest with a man bun. Mark my words now. But remember, if you get on the honor roll, 3.5 or higher, you get a free pass to here, Flowrider, or iFly. Whatever one you want. You get to choose. Now, you're going to sit here and watch me climb this monstrous thing. That's how you do a pack TV. I made it to the top. All right. We had to cut it for time, but I made it. Buddhists on top of the mountain. Great guru. Is it a great day to be a silver wolf? It's always a great day to be a silver wolf, my son. So let's finish this week strong and get to your classes. But for those of you who wish to make up attendance, the last makeup class of the year begins next Tuesday, March 21st, with Mr. Ball said upstairs in the lecture hall. This Wednesday will not only give you an opportunity to erase .25 attendance credit, but also learn about jobs and careers that are in the world that you can be a part of, like construction, law enforcement, retail, and medical. The career and job fair will be held during both lunches this Wednesday. If you'd like more information, please see the main office or the attendance office. Students, there is a mandatory meeting for anyone interested in running for office next year this Friday morning at 7.15 in Pollard's room, B228. That's upstairs near the library. If you want any more information, please see Tori Pollard. Now let's take it over to the news desk. Thanks, guys. So Blakely, an Australian shepherd, has been called back into dad duty at the Cincinnati Zoo. He is caring for three little baby Malayan tiger cubs. Um, they were ignored by their mother after birth, but Blakely has been doing a great job of taking care of them and teaching the difference between a play bite and a bad bite. <laughs> and so he'll fill the role of a parent until the cubs are old enough to take care of themselves. So pretty cool. Okay, you guys get ready, all you mothers of dragons. Ed Sheeran will guest star on the next uh, season of Game of Thrones, debuting on HBO July 16th of 2017. Pretty sure Game of Thrones is the only HBO um, show besides like Westerworld and really weird eight other movies. But if you don't want to watch it with commercials every five minutes, just check it, check it on Amazon Prime. Also, for more new snooze and stories, check out the paw print before you throw it away. See you, Silver Wolves. Students, if you haven't had Firehouse Subs, you're missing out. So don't miss out this Thursday at Firehouse Subs in Riverdale because you can get a really good sandwich while supporting seniors here at Fremont. That's this Thursday from 4 to 9 p.m. at Firehouse Subs. And for those who went to prom, prom pictures are in the main office, so please pick them up. The art department has the art show up in the lecture hall right now, and it's pretty cool. Here's more on that. I think I can hear you, dude. Okay, I'm just being very quiet. But we got good wolves here. They're not mine, but they're pretty good. What does the fox say? <laughs> it's always a good idea. I think the ant man is pretty good. The chair. <laughs> I think the handbells really capture my emotional state. You just feel wrapped up. <laughs> yep. Oh. Uh, I see that Washington Monument and I... I don't know how to feel about this one. Which one? Uh, Albert Einstein! Albert Einstein! Yeah! No. <laughs> no. <laughs> this one it's makes me think. It's Pop Art. 
It's the. It's Lana Del Rey. Very good. That's Lana Del Rey. Where's Lana Del Rey? Pretty sure. Just saying. Whoa, look at that. Look in your. Crikey. This is some nice pot they got here. We don't sell them like this down in the. Alright, Ryan, what's your favorite? I'm partial to the Triceratops. I'm kind of loving that frog on the surfboard. Kind of loving that elephant. I really love the turtle, but it's not for sale. I want to buy this elephant. I want to. <laughs> Crikey, I want to see your peacock. <laughs> hey, uh, Cabri. You think this is a new record for the art show? <laughs> By the way, check this out. It's pretty cool. It's a book. Hey, it's that's book? pretty cool. Whoa. Whoa! It's a freaking book. That's pretty cool. It's a whole bunch of her artwork. Yeah, dude, yeah, yeah. it's gnarly. Check Whoa! It hey, that's pretty cool. <coughs> oh, dear. So, Parker, um, are you a part of the Illuminati? Um, what makes you say that? I can either, I can either confirm or deny. What do you think, Ryan? I I am gonna guess a solid <laughs> yes. The truth is out there. This Friday for Fun Food Friday, they will be preparing leprechaun cupcakes for one dollar. And this is a reminder for all those NHS members: if they're going to the Sequest Aquarium this Friday, it costs fourteen dollars, and you need to get that money to the bookkeeper by tomorrow. Now let's head over to the locker room with Callie. Thanks guys. Spring sports kicked off this weekend with baseball, soccer, and softball. Let's start off with soccer. They pretty much dominated their competition with wins against Spanish Fork, Salem Hills, and Uinta. And they were all shut shutouts and scoring on average six goals in their matches. They host Leighton tomorrow, so come out and watch some great soccer. In baseball, the Wolves beat the top-rated Lone Peak squad 7-6, but took on Cottonwood and lost in the bottom of the 10th 3-2. They take on Wasatch this Friday in the Sunshine Classic. Softball went down and had a tough tournament, losing to their three opponents, but they look to redeem themselves tomorrow at Harriman. The tennis team played Box Elder last week and, they, and defeated the Bees. They go up against Leighton tomorrow here. The boys lacrosse team plays tomorrow at American Fork. Good luck, gentlemen. The track team kicks off their season at Weber this Wednesday and will be going up against Weber and Northridge. Here's more on the track team and the softball team. Hey, I'm here with Emily, and uh, I'm just going to ask her, how did uh, softball th go this weekend at St. George? Um, I think it was a good learning experience, and we saw how good the girls can be, and it will be a nice way to start the season. All right, thanks. And how does the season look um, and, and the team this year? Pretty good. We'll do good. We have a game tomorrow, so come support, and we have a game Friday, too, here. All right. Here? Who do you play? Syracuse on Friday. Okay. All right. Okay. So a track this year. It's going to be really fun. We still have a lot of open spots for anyone that wants to come out. It's a lot of fun. I don't know why you guys aren't coming out. But anyway, uh, we have our first track meet Wednesday. It's after school around three. So make it out there. Uh, Kirsch, you want to expand on that? Uh, I'm just really excited for this year. I feel like we're going to win region again. Go back to back. It's going to be really fun. forget to fill out your brackets. That's it for sports today. Back to you guys. Thanks. And speaking of March Madness, there will be a 3v3 basketball tournament at the end of this month on March 27th, 28th, and 29th. Go and sign up on the student room door, and it's a dollar per student. If, you're in, uh, if you enjoyed the retro 50s upstairs in the library, then you'll really love the retro 60s this Wednesday in the library. They'll be rocking out to the Beatles and the Beach Boys at their beach party. Here's more.
That's it for PAC TV, and remember to follow us on Twitter at PAC TV 2017 and PAC News at WSC.net. And make sure to follow Kobe Doxy on Twitter at Kobe Doxy. Have a great day, Wolves. Follow super underscore size seven. <laughs>